All right, this scene might look a little bit familiar because this was the scene on aspirin represented by this guy with the aspin, aspin for aspirin. And as we mentioned in our aspirin video, aspirin is an NSAID. And specifically, it irreversibly inhibits COX, represented by this guy who's standing on these chickens here, the COX, and they exploded. And this led to decreased thromboxane 2 and decreased prostaglandin production, represented by the trombone and the P that's glad going down. In this video, we're gonna talk about other NSAIDs. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the NSAIDs which reversibly inhibit COX-1 and COX-2. And that's going to be represented by this reverse arrow by the N, that's SAD. And that's SAD for NSAID, and the reverse arrow for reversible inhibition. The first thing we note is this napping ox over here, the napping ox, napping ox for naproxen. We note that the napping ox has this I with the fin, I with the fin for ibuprofen. Under the ox over here, we have this indigo man, indigo man for indomethacin. And the indigo man is standing on top of this key that's rolling, a key that's rolling for ketorolac. The key that's rolling is attached to this fin of this dyed fish. This, it's a dyed clownfish for diclofenac. All right, with the ox over here, we notice two things over here. Inside the ox, we have the male and the pear. The male and the pear in the ox for meloxicam and peroxicam. More specifically, ibuprofen and naproxen are propionic acid derivatives. Indomethacin, ketorolac, and diclofenac are all acetic acid derivatives. And meloxazam and peroxazam are, are enolic acid derivatives. Okay, so as again, as we mentioned, these NSAIDs reversibly inhibit COX-1 and COX-2, blocking prostaglandin synthesis. And by doing so, they are antipyretic, analgesic, as well as anti-inflammatory. Just to mention, indomethacin is also used to close a, a patent ductus arteriosus, and that's why we have the indigo man over here blocking this duct. To help us remember that indomethacin is used to close a patent ductus arteriosus. Adverse effects of the drugs include interstitial nephritis, gastric ulcer, renal ischemia, since prostaglandins are responsible for vasodilating the afferent arteriole, as well as aplastic anemia. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the NSADs. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.